Right, Brakatayawa, Brakatayawa Sha, Brakatayawa, Brakatayawa Sha, Brakatayawa, Brakatayawa Sha, Call Holayam La Yahawa, Basim Yahawa Sha, Basim Kakadas. Um, it's the brother Bakam La Wallam with a, um, hopefully an edifying video for the, um, the elect. The buy, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor. To Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, and double honors to the great men that I learned this truth, truth from, the apostles and elders at GMS, and the brethren with the like mind and doctrine, and Shalom to the um, the Akim and the Akwa that's listening and learning. Um, I was at the public library, the public library today, and I was um, I was um. I ran across this book here. The name of this book is called Christianity, The First 3,000 Years. And it's by, um, if I'm pronouncing the name right, Diarmad McClulloch. Diarmad McClulloch. It's at the top there. And I was just skimming through it. And um, I found some something interesting I want to share with the body. Um, it says that the, the title, this is in one of the books that I took a picture of, it says, De Demystifying Christian Origin Origins. And I want to read what it has here. Um, let me see. Make sure this is the right one. Yeah, I'm going to start at the, where it says... De the mystifying Christian origins. And it says even the book of Acts call uh, calls attention to the fact that in the earliest stage stages of the movement, certain ideas had not yet de had not yet developed. For example, in Acts eleven twenty six, we are told it was in Antioch that the that the disciples were first called Christians. In Greek. The word is Christian, Christianos, if I'm pronouncing that right. Now, what does, what does, now, what does this, Salakia, now, what does this comment tell us? Well, the most obvious point is that the main term that is now thought of as the name of the movement was not known or used for a number of years after the movement began and when the term occurred it was not it was not in Galilee Jerusalem or Judea where Jesus where, where uh, it says he says Jesus here but we know it's Yahweh Shai had where Jesus Jesus lived, had lived and died and where even Acts said it began in Acts, eat Salakia, and where in Acts says it begin. Instead, the term Christian was first used in the capital of Rome, the capital of Rome, Providence of Syria, a thoroughly Greek city. Nor is it clear when this new title arose. I might easily have been 40 or to 50 years or more after. It's like it. it might easily have, have been 40 to 50 years or more after the death of, it says, you know, Jesus, but Yahweh Shai. The missionary Paul, the apostle Paul, who lived and worked in Antioch for quite, for, for quite some time. Um, Galatians, it has here Galatians 1. Chapter 1, 20, 21 through chapter 2 and 14, never uses, never used the term, nor does it appear in any source, in any source, Christian or otherwise, prior to the time of Acts was written. Finally, the derived, the derived name Christianity, which it got here in Greece, I'm going to try to pronounce it, Christian Nesmos as a designate as a desi designation 
for the religion itself does not appear before or after I guess um, 112 to 115 BC or I'm sorry AD Interesting, interestingly enough also with a connection to Antioch I'm going to flip here to this it's the bottom portion where it says at the I'm at the last paragraph so what did the followers of Jesus or Yahweh Shai call themselves during those early decades before the term Christian was coined most likely they would just thought of themselves as devout Jews see devout Jews um, other terms used in the earlier chapter of Acts such as the way Acts 9 it has Acts 9 chapter 9 and 2 and chapter 19 and 23 I could get into those chapters and read what it says here it's likely give me a second verify if the information is correct to Acts 9 and 21 Acts 9 and 21 and it reads but all that heard him were amazed and said is not this he that destroyed them which called on this name in Jerusalem and came hither for that intent that he might bring them bound unto the chief priests so that's um, X something like it X 9 and 2 lock it to Acts 9 and 2 and it reads and desired of him letters to Damascus to the synagogues that if he found any of any this way whether they were men or women he may he, may, he might bring them bound into Jerusalem as we talk about um, Paul when he was crucified the um Christians at that time that he was if he found any in the he said in the way any of this way so that's I guess that's what they referencing when he said way and also it's, um nineteen twenty three so I'm gonna just keep reading all right let me start from, from other terms in the earlier chapter of Acts, such as the way, Acts 9 and 2, and Acts 19 and 23, are consistent with the Jewish um, sectarian identity in Acts 24 and 14. Some use sect, some use sect of Nazarenes. Even this term, church, Greek, the Greek um, word is ekklesia. I know I'm not pronouncing that right, but um, assembly or gathering. Acts 8 and 3, Acts um, 9 and 11, Acts 11 and 22, and Acts chapter 26, which was used of Greek city, which was used of Greek city councils was also regularly regularly used by Greek speaking Jews. So that lets you know that the people are the um that the apostles were dispersed, the Acts, they was speaking only to the Jews in whatever region. See, it says um even the term that the Greek speaking Jews was calling well let me finish. So like it. I'm gonna start over. Even the term church, which means, you know, assembly or gathering, 
which was used to the Greek city, I mean, used of the Greek city councils, was also regularly regularly used by Greek-speaking Jews to refer to the Jewish people as a whole or to individual Jewish congregation, which that's, they say Jewish people or Jewish congregation, that was the, um, the, um, the ones that knew there was Jews. So they, the Jewish, the, the Greek speaking Jews were referring to the, 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 um, Jews that knew who they were, the circumcision. They knew who they were. He, they, the Greek speaking Jews was calling the, um, the real, the, um, circumcision Jews, the ones that knew they were Jews, they called them the church, you know, hence church, reading on, hence church, Greek, um, ecclesia, or synagogue, Greek synagogue, were, were originally synonymous, so he was saying church and synagogue were, um, were um, originally synonymous. They used it um, to reference each other, the church and the synagogue. But um, that lets you know there in that in this um, book that that the um, disciples or uh, or the apostles was only going to the Jews. That's why it says Greek speaking Jews. So they were speaking. They came to speak only to the Jews, the um, the Hellenist. The Hellenistic Jews or the Grecians, whatever term, you know, Grecians or Hellenistic Jews or Greek speaking Jews, that's who the um the apostles was coming to um to um spread the church spread the um spread the word of Yahweh Shah Yahweh to. That's also in Acts two, I can't remember the chapter and verse. But I think um says something of the effect that um it's only here I'm, I don't want to say it incorrectly of the Jews I can't remember somewhere in Acts the Jews something of that sort Yep, Acts Slaki the water y'all about shoot me off shot. Acts eleven and eighteen it reads eighteen it reads when they heard these things they held their plea held their peace and glorified Yahweh saying then hath Yahweh also to the Gentiles granted repentance of life, repentance unto life. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phoenice, Phoenice uh, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. See, they was preaching to the, when they went to these particular places, or any place that they went, Phoenice, Cyprus, Antioch, they was preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cy 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 Cyrene, which, when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, the Grecians Oh, slack it. I'm gonna keep reading. Speaking to the Grecians, pre preaching the Lord Yahweh Shai, preaching the Lord, you know, preaching the message, preaching Yahweh, the, the preaching the Lord Yahweh Shai. See the, where it says speaking to the Grecians here in, in verse 22. The Grecian is the Hellenistic Jews, and that's more evidence. And it also tells you um in, in other translations that it says Hellenistic. If you get the definition out of the um, um, Zonder, Zonderden, Zom, Zonderben, what is, I'm not pronouncing that dictionary right. So like, give me a second.
Yeah, the um Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. You get the um, definition. They tell you that Grecian means Hellenistic. The Hellenistic Jews, the Jews that sp spoke Greek, and um, Greek was the actual term used for the actual people. You know the the Edomites. You know. You know, but um, that's just evidence that um, more evidence that the the um, they was preaching the gospel. Only to the Jews, the Jews that were scattered, or uh, the um, the 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 um Jews that didn't know they was Jews, they took on the customs customs of the heathen. They took on the customs of the other nations. So that's just more evidence on um, that they didn't come and speak to no one. They didn't come preaching the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to no one but the Jews in whatever region or whatever um, countries they was traveling to. And I have another book here, but I'm not going to get into it. Hold up. Let me see. I'm, yeah, I'm going to read this too, Salakia. And it's, I think it's not, it's not the same book. Before they, yeah, before they were Christians, the beginnings of the um, Jesus movement or Yahweh Shai movement. And it reads, um, the historical Jesus, or Yahweh Shai, did not appear as a follower of a new, of a new religion called Christianity. See, it says there, historically, Jesus did not appear, or Yahweh Shai did not appear as a follower of a new religion. See, this is a new religion called Christianity. In fact, the name Christianity as a designation for the new movement did not even exist until early early a century after um, Yahweh Shai's death. Yahweh Shai himself seemed to have been some sort of reforming they said some sort of reforming preacher, some might say a prophet. But we know he you know the Messiah is a prophet and he's the anointed, you know. He's 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 um, the Messiah and he's a prophet. With the with um Hamashiach, within the complex and contentious religious religions religious Salaki environment of the first early Salaki of early first century Juda Judaism the movement that grew up around Yahweh Shai in so far as it may properly be uh, classed as a movement prior to his death probably resembled other Jewish sects um, of the time and such, and such there was comfortable diversities and at times rent Rancor over matters of Jewish ob ob observance and piety. So I don't know what uh, rancor means. I'm going to just look it up real quick. So I get the understanding. So, Ranker, Ranker it says Raker, bitterness, resentfulness, especially when long standing. So it says bitterness or resentfulness. So I'm going to start over. The movement that grew up around Yahweh Shai, in so far 
as it may properly be classed as a movement prior to his death, probably resembled other Jewish sects at, of the time in which there was, was a reasonable diversity in that and at times um, bitterness over matters of Jewish observance and piety. I guess I think piety means importance. I might be um, I'm not sure. Um, hence, we must be cautious about assuming that Christian that the Christian Church erupted into a a scene as a discreet and identifiable religious institution shortly after the death of Yahweh Shai, or at or that it began. At a single moment, or or as a single phenomenon, see that's what it says. That so we they, you should um, be cautious to think this had this basically Christianity has anything to do with Yahweh Shai. Period. The the message that Yahweh Shai um is um bringing it says. Hence, I'm gonna read it back over the the second paragraph. Hence. much erupted into a scene as a discreet or identifiable religion religious institution shortly after the death of Yahweh or that it began at a single moment or as a single phenomenon so I get that um, if I read it, I'm understanding that right Although the traditional account of the origins of the movement based all, almost exclusively on the books of Book of Acts in the New Testament may reflect some aspects of the early days, it does not likely tell the whole story. More to the point, it tells its, sto its story of the rise of the Christian, the Christian movement, from a latter from a later prospect a later prospect when the church had already begun to develop a more distinctive identity consequently we must be careful a retrojection retrojection condition retro de, re, retrojecting conditions or develop developings that only arouse much later into the period of his origin to do so it is to um, create a myth of beginnings that never actually exist so basically it's talking about the, 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 this Christianity thing um Must be um, careful of interjecting conditions or developments that only arouse much later into the period of its origin. So basically, they're just saying that you know Christianity. What they're saying about Christianity and what the message of the 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 whole thing surrounding Christianity and the message that Yahweh Shai, you know, basically they can't they, they you shouldn't. Um, connect both of them. They 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 they're not a there's there's not a conject uh, connection there, you know. Uh, we should be cautioned in trying and trying to connect Christianity with um with the message of Yahweh Shai. But um, the ones that I know, I got a um encyclopedia, a world encyclopedia here. It goes in depth. Cause you know Christianity was basically created by the Roman Catholic Church, but th that's a that's another lesson because it goes in depth and there's um a lot of detail that I um at the time I'm uh, I'm not um prepared to get into, but um the World Encyclopedia it goes into the origins of Christianity and. You know of the different denominations that was created from the Roman Catholic Church's connection to the Roman Catholic Church and 
all these different de um, denominations. So, you know, Christianity is a religion too. And also in this book here, that I, that, you know, I'm a, um, it says, From Jesus to Christianity, this is a whole different book by A.O. Michael White. From Jesus to Christianity, I think it goes into um, um, religion being um, man-made or something of the sort. I'm, I can't remember what it says, but this is something different. Yeah, so I think it talks about religion in this book. No, it's talk up to, in this book. It gives you of uh, the identity of what it, what, um, what you can get the under, more understanding of world when it when referencing um, John sixteen when it says that God so loved the world that he he gave his only begotten Son that whoever shall believe on him shall be saved. But um, in this section here, it tells you what you know. At the bottom, it reads them about it's talking about the worlds, um, often translated as world in Luke 2 and 1. From from this is off the subject, but it is we, I mean, for it, for it, we get from it, so like it, from it, we get the English word, ec, um, economy. Is that it says economy there? I think there's a, yeah, here it is. It says um, at the bottom, from, from it we get the English word economy when he's talking about world, but is originally carried in the sense of a managed realm, a managed realm, which basically that's a kingdom, or as we might say, a civilized world. From a Roman perspective, it meant the world we inhabit or control or empire. Basically, that's what they were trying to they def define world as an empire or a kingdom. From the Roman standpoint, Ro empire or kingdom. Just like Yahweh Shai, he said, I came not but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is something that's totally different from um, uh, what I am what I was talking about uh, um, initially. But still, I, th these books I Dwight Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, I came across them and I purchased these books too. You can get both of them, you know, both of them they, they, I purchased. I was blessed to find them that was under $15. You know, you can find both of them from up for under $15. You know, um, this book, I think this book, got, I know these books got a lot of information. This is just, a, a, I just seen a chapter in just a couple pages. I was, um, I skimmed through it and, and caught this. This caught my attention. So um yeah um I think that that well that's the end of these this this lesson yeah for cause I'm uh, I'm order, I ordered these books today and I should get them you know shortly but I hope this lesson was edified all praise and glory and honor to you I will buy Shimmy I will shy by Shimra Kakatas and double honors again to the elders elders and apostles. Um, that I learned this truth from the great men of GMS and the brethren with the like-minded doctrine and uh, to, to the Akim and the Aqua to the body of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah Shalom on to the next time Wild Bible Ball